Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my week four previews and analysis. This video is for the game between the Houston Texans and the Seattle Seahawks. This game will be played down in Houston, which I'm sure Houston is glad about because right now, for anyone to even think about going up to Seattle and winning, I think it's pretty far-fetched. And the Seahawks are coming off of two straight uh, home wins after an opening game road win at Carolina. They moved their record to 3-0. and the Texans, 2-1, and one, a very unimpressive 2-1, and one, though, because they beat, had to come back to beat two teams they should be better than in the first two weeks, and they just got absolutely trounced last week uh, on the road in Baltimore, only amassing nine points there uh, versus that Ravens defense. And, you know, the, the Texans are in a spot now where, um, you know, it's a little bit mystifying because it seems like they have the weapons now around Matt Schaub. They have DeAndre Hopkins. They still have Andre Johnson. They certainly have Tate and Foster in the backfield. Uh, you know, you wonder if, if Dwayne Brown missing that game last week was the difference. Were they just out of sync from Ward 1 with that continuity in that offensive line? We'll see if Brown comes back this week. We'll see how that impacts the Texans' offense. But I just don't like what I'm seeing from Matt Schaub right now. Uh, you know, it's it's just it's tough for me to expect a lot from him given how inconsistent he's been, and they haven't faced a defense even close to as good as the one they're going to face this week in Seattle. A defense that is getting healthier uh, coming into this game and will be getting healthier as the season progresses, which which you know I think is downright scary. The Texans' defense, look, I expect them to have a pretty good game. I think they're a good unit. All right, uh, you know, the, the Ravens scored a, a defensive touchdown and a special teams touchdown last week. I think the, the Texans, they have a couple of new pieces, obviously, in an Ed Reed, for instance. But I think that's not the unit I'm worried about uh, with the Texans. I'm worried about the consistency of that offense and, most notably, uh, the performance of Matt Schaub. And when you look, look at Seattle, you know, the reason I like Seattle, the way their team is built, is this. You obviously have the workhorse running back in Marshawn Lynch, who's not off to a great start this year, but you know what you have in him. I like the fact that I have a young quarterback in a Russell Wilson that never tries to do too much. He knows he has that defense uh, playing alongside him, a defense that's opportunistic, that can stop the run and the pass equally, and you never see Russell Wilson try to do too much. Uh, and thus, uh, he, he picks his spots, makes his plays when he has to, uh, doesn't turn the ball over that much, and I think he's a perfect fit. Um, for that offense and that team as a whole because of that. And I just love the way even he played last week. You know, an efficient four touchdowns, one interception. Yes, it was against Jacksonville. Uh, I realize this. Um, but still, just the kind of game you, you begin to expect from a guy like that. Very common poise under pressure when you're seeing some of these other young quarterbacks, whether it be an RG3, a Colin Kaepernick, so they definitely show some chinks in the armor. And then you have guys like Luck and Russell Wilson who are just you know cool, calm customers. And I think we're seeing uh, them develop a little bit more consistency here uh, than those other two in the beginning of the season. But look, I like Seattle in this game, and I like Seattle because I like the, the matchup between Matt Schaub and, uh, you know, I like the, the Seattle defense against Matt Schaub, essentially. I think they have the guys on the outside to certainly neutra neutralize Andre Johnson, neutralize DeAndre Hopkins, and then, uh, you know, where does Matt Schaub go from there um, if they're not able to run the ball consistently? You know, I have questions about that. So I like Seattle minus three on the road in Houston. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview every game. Every week here on my YouTube channel, I'm always talking NFL on here. Any kind of topical news that may come across the wire here. Thanks again for listening. Be sure to subscribe and have a great night.